What comes to your mind when you hear the word research? Yes, a picture of a scientist conducting experiment in his lab with all his beakers, a test tube, etc. comes to your mind. But research are not always related to science. Research are undertaken in all the fields of study and all of them present its own set of challenges. Research is a systematic inquiry that investigates hypothesis, suggests new interpretations or data or texts and poses new questions to future research to explore. Basically, a research consists of asking a question that nobody has asked before, doing the necessary work to find the answer and communicating the knowledge you have acquired to a larger audience. We often believe that the people who are conducting research are intellectual, organized and meticulous as they conduct their research. But remember, research is more like a trial and error method. Albert Einstein once said that if we knew what it was we were doing it would not be called research. Would it? It is true. Most of the time research have no idea about what they are actually doing and where they are being led. Because a research in any field of study is a continuous exploration of new and sophisticated methods of communication. For example, if we look at the advances of communication technologies, we can get an idea of it. In the beginning, SMS, short message service, is the popular mode of written communication. But now, people use WhatsApp and other messengers instead of SMS. In the future, these also could be outdated if they doesn't keep up with the ongoing changes in the communication. Research can be a complex process and often time consuming. But there are seven steps which we can follow to make it more focused and more effective. Let's look at these seven steps. Identify a focus of research. Develop a research question. Define key terms. Select a research method. Establish a sample population. Gather and analyze the data. Interpret and share results. To conduct a research first of all, you have to choose a subject which interests you and focus on it. Because most of the times we get distracted or involved in the other aspects of the subject that may not be useful to our research. For example, you are conducting a research on mass media in rural areas. It must be your focus of interest. After having a focus of study, it is essential to develop specific or scientific research question. Otherwise, it would be an endless process of trial and error method. So from the previous example, if our subject is social media in rural areas, what specific questions comes to your mind? It may be mass media as a mode of communication for people in rural areas, or it may be effects of mass media on the youth in rural areas. Again, using the same subject of research, we can draw a few key terms like television, channels, social media, TRP, audience, etc. It is very important to identify and set parameters of what it is you are researching by defining what these key terms mean to you and your research. A methodology is a step-by-step -step process of conducting a research. There are different types of methodologies available for different types of research. A methodology which is very effective to one subject of research may not give the proper result when we use it for another research. In our example, you can interview the villagers, observe them or conduct an experiment. It is important to establish a set of population whom you are going to study. These samples should be both easily accessible and willing to participate in the study. It is important to pick the samples that are truly representative of what and who you want to research. Women in rural areas may not be willing to participate in our example research. Then it is convenient to exclude them. 
If they are important to your research, then you can also try an alternative methodology. Once all the above steps are completed, you are all set to gather the desired data. You must have filled up some survey forms in your schools and colleges. By filling them and answering their questions, you were helping a researcher to find answers to his question of research. To gather these answers, you may use previously developed questionnaires or you may develop your own. Your research is not complete just by gathering the data. The data we gathered must lead us to develop and refine the theories on the subject. A researcher must interpret the data and to see if it tells anything about our subject of interest. Next, he can share the result to the world so that people who are interested can make use of your research. Now, we have discussed the process and steps involved in a research. We will move on to the research in media production. Media production is a complex process and involves several research before the beginning of the production. It may be a small scale news channel or a film from a big production house. There will be some research before beginning of the production. Every film or TV programs that we watch, newspapers or magazines that we read, computer games that we play have all been thoroughly researched and planned in the pre-production process. Media products are often expensive and time consuming and there is a lot of money involved in it. For example, consider the film Bahubali. It took almost two years to produce it and crores of money is invested in the production. Similarly, the products that are advertised in a television channel expect their products to reach the right audience to make profit. Because of this, production houses put a lot of time and effort into thoroughly researching a product to make sure that their product attracts the desired audience and this audience will react to it in an appropriate way. They make use of the latest technologies and social media to reach more people. For example, services like Flipkart and OLX are giving more importance to online advertisements than TV advertisements as their potential audience are using social media more than the television media. This is the outcome of researches they've done. There are two main forms of research undertaken by the media industries. Market research is the collection and analysis of information about the market within which a particular product will compete with other products for an audience and for revenue. Production research is related to the production process itself. It is important for us to understand the purposes of these two types of research and what are the aspects involved in them. Effective and successful media products target the right audience and communicate to them in an effective way. As the media industry becomes more fragmented, so competition for a share of the audience becomes more intense. Knowing who your target audience are and what makes them tick is therefore increasingly important. Market research involves looking at statistical data about audience population and composition for a particular media product. For example, how many people read Indian Express newspaper and what sort of people they are. The reach of the media product or service and the extent to which a potential audience are aware of it. For example, how many people have heard about the new YouTube video channels that are available. What people's opinion on a particular product or service and what their patterns of behavior are. For example, what people think about geo internet services and what they use it for. Other market competitors who are competing for a share of the audience and revenue with similar products. There are several market research companies which aid media organizations by conducting research to gather these data. Some of the major market research companies in India are Cantor IMRB, which is formerly known as IMRB, International is a multinational market research survey and business consultancy firm that offers 
a range of syndicated data and customized research services. Established in 1970 by Hindustan Thomson Associates, IMRB was modeled on the lines of British Market Research Bureau. Now it is a leading provider of market research and insights across country with its headquarters in Mumbai. Majestic MRSS, Majestic Market Research Support Services, is a market research firm co-founded by Raj Sharma in 1992. It operates in 18 different countries including India, Indonesia, Singapore, its headquarters in Mumbai, India. RNB Research is a global market research company headquartered in Delhi, India. Established in 1955, RNB Research specializes in quantitative and qualitative custom market research. It has experience in most major sectors, particularly media, consumer products, food and beverages, telecommunication, and internet research. To identify the target group of audience, the media producers normally classify them into different categories. Even in the market research companies, conducting research on behalf of the media productions use these classifications to divide up their research subjects. These common classifications are according to number one, age. One of the major and most used categories within the media are that of age. Normally, the ages of the audience are divided into 15 years or below, 16 to 24 years, 25 to 44 years, 44 to 64 years, and 65 or above. This division is useful as a particular age group of people is interested in a particular product which may not be relevant to the other group. For example, only a kid watches a cartoon and a person aged 50 years is interested in hair dyes. Number two is gender. Another important division of the audience is based on their genders, male or female. As many media products are targeted towards specific gender group, a woman is more interested in a cookery show while a man watches a news channel as he is interested in the politics. But one must be careful as in today's world, the gender stereotypes are getting outdated. Number three is culture and ethnicity. Today, there are several Indian products which are in demand at global market. The newspapers from India have circulations all over the world. Audience watch Indian news channels and films from Bollywood are released overseas. So the people from different countries with different cultures should be kept in mind during production. Income and Social Classification The potential audience can also be segmented according to their income and type of job. It is more important to advertisers as they must know the amount the viewer can spend. A high-end smartphone advertisement has no use if it is shown to a lower middle class family. There is a popular saying that luxury cars like Lamborghini or Ferrari don't show advertisements on TV as their potential buyers are busy working, not out there wasting their time watching the TV. The second main type of research related to the production process itself. When planning a new media product, the company making the program, film, magazine, website or game will need to undertake a great deal of product research. This is in order to provide content and gather material to allow them to write and develop the new product. Research the commercial viability of actually making the product. Thoroughly research and plan the production and post-production stages to ensure that it all runs as smoothly as possible. Sometimes the research involves general procedures, but most of the times it depends upon the product itself. For example, a journalist asked to write a content for a 30-minute program on the surgical strike done by army should make a secondary research on the subject. He or she should gather pieces of information about the attack and other similar attacks previously done by the army to get the background information. He should also do some primary research by interviewing the soldiers and other politicians involved in it. The information gained can be used as writings and visuals for the TV program. A filmmaker will also undertake both primary and secondary research 
but may have a little more time to do so. As well as researching for the content of the documentary, he or she may also have to do some research into the cost of hiring equipment and personnel to shoot the documentary as well as the post-production and distribution services required. In addition, the filmmaker will almost certainly have to undertake some location research to identify suitable venues for filming to take place, assist in the planning of specific shots and assesses any problems or health and safety issues that the crew might face. The amount of information that is gathered during the process of production research can often be huge, particularly if the production is a complex one that involves many different aspects. It is therefore important that all of the information is carefully logged, organized and stored to ensure it is secure, while also allowing easy access and cross-referencing. Any media product that is produced looks forward to make profit. So it is important to get the things right. Because of this, the production research is very important. Its purpose is to demonstrate that the planned product is viable in the market. You need to test the viability of the product at different levels. As we all know, advertising is one of the major source of income for any media products that we watch, read or interact with. Turn on any TV channel or open any newspaper you find advertisements. The websites that we visit every day also have advertisements in them. Money from direct selling of a product is also a major source of income. People pay and subscribe to the TV channels. They buy tickets to watch a movie in theatre. The selling of music CDs or DVDs from the film is also a source of income. Other sources include merchandising, in-branding, etc. You should also research the availability of grants, loans and commissions that might be available to help support the cost of media production. There are number of public and private schemes and subsidies that are designed to support creative production. A careful research needs to be done on the cost of production as well. Different sources of expenditure depends upon the product you are making. For example, if you are producing a film, you need equipment, people, etc. You need to employ a lot of people to do different work in the film set. You need creative people to help research and develop our ideas, technical expertise to assist you with the equipment, with marketing people to sell the product, etc. For example, if you are producing a print-based product, such as a newspaper or magazine, then you would need to employ a team of journalists to produce the copy and perhaps a photographer to provide the pictures. You would also need some editing and sub-editing staff and a designer or two to make sure it looked good and attracted the right audience. The type of your crew would depend on the scale of the production itself and the funds that you have available. Many small independent production houses will employ only a handful of people who are multi-skilled and able to undertake a number of different roles. Most of these will be employed on a freelance basis and hired only to do a specific role on a specific subject. Next to staffing, the major amount of money is spent on the equipment necessary for the production. Audio and visual products require several types of recording and editing equipment, such as camera, computers, etc. Several hardware and software are necessary for print and multimedia production. As a student, the productions you have already done for the course are probably done by borrowing the equipment from someone else and using the pirated software or the software bought by your institution. However, if you were working as an independent producer, then your equipment would have to be purchased or hired for the duration of the production process. You would therefore have to research the cost in advance so that you can budget for them.
Once you have budgeted the production costs, you need to do some research on the distribution costs as well. Let's say you have produced a film that is ready to be released into the market. Your research on distribution costs should include how much you need to spend to release it in specific location. The money you need to release it in the multi-screen theatres may cost more than to release it in single screens. Similarly, overseas, release is costly compared to release in India. With research, you need to gather all these data beforehand to get a successful release. It is of no use having good product if you don't promote and market it. So before allotting the budget, marketing and promotion should not be overlooked. So you need to have some understanding of the need of effective marketing and promotion. Advertising is only one aspect of marketing and promotion. There are several other things which could be helpful for promotion, such as sponsorship of an event at which your target audience will be present, organizing a publicity stunt to get your product in the news, using a celebrity to endorse and promote your product, producing merchandising items such as badges, t-shirts, pens and hats. When planning your product and drawing up the budget, you also need to take account of the potential cost of using copyright material. Much of your material will probably be original material that you and your team produce yourself. However, you may also want to use some copyright material, such as a still from a feature film or a clip from a song. One of the ways of using material that is under copyright is to write to the copyright holder to ask permission to use the material. You will often have to make a payment for the right to use the material. In this episode, we have studied about the definition and basic steps in which research is undertaken. Research is a systematic inquiry that investigates hypotheses, suggests new interpretations or data or texts and possesses new questions to future research to explore. Basically, there are seven steps in the process of conducting a research. We also study the research involved in media production. Media production is a complex process and involves several researches before the beginning of the production. There are mainly two types of researches in media production, market research and the production research. Market research focuses on the market in which the product has to compete with similar other product. This can be done through audience segmentation and advertisements. Production research focuses on the production and will be undertaken during pre-production process. It involves the research conducted on the subject of production and the process of production. It also focuses on the viability of the product in the market by balancing the income and expenditures. Thank you.